For a few months now, Google has been working on a new feature for Chrome that allows you to use the gesture navigation to go backwards and forwards through your browsing history. So while these features are being worked on, you'll notice that they're actually going to be disabled by default, but we can turn them on right now within the stable version of Chrome quite easily. So instead of waiting for Google to enable these features automatically, we can do this manually using the hidden flags page. Now, with that said, these can also be manually disabled for those who do not like this new setup. So here in today's video, I can show you how to enable or disable these new animations within the Chrome web browser on Android. For this to work, we first need to dive into the Chrome flags page, which you can access by typing in the same address that you see up here, which is Chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags, and then press enter. You're going to see this page pull up where you get a ton of different features that are being worked on on Chrome with a search or filter box up here at the top. So let's use this box up here to search for the word forward. And that's going to filter out most of everything else, except we're going to focus on two key features. The first is labeled back dash forward visual transition. So both of these are going to be disabled by default and we change that by tapping on enabled in those drop down menus. So again, first we're going to enable the back dash forward visual transition and then we're going to enable the right edge goes forward gesture navigation. This setup is going to have it work exactly like I showed you at the beginning of this video. Once these have been changed, you'll see a blue relaunch button down here at the bottom. And you're going to want to go ahead and tap on that for Chrome to close out, start back up, and for these new changes to take effect. And this is really all there is to it. As long as you have gesture navigation enabled on Android, then the work is done. Now you'll notice that swiping in from the left side of the screen takes you backwards and sw swiping in from the right side of the screen is going to take you forward if there is a browser history available. So you can see we're at this page now. We go backwards to our list, but we can go backwards again, again going through our browsing history to take us back to that main page. But we can also swipe in to the right to go forward through our browsing history. I don't know about you, but this is something that I think can really help to make the user experience much more fluid in day-to-day -day operations since we can see the actual page that we're going to be going back to or forward to before committing and letting go of that gesture. Now I did say that Google is working on these features and they have plans to push this to the stable version of Chrome. So you may end up waking up one day and noticing your gestures are working like this when you have never said anything in that Chrome flags page. And that's because Google is pushing this to the stable build. So if you're not a fan of these new features, you can actually disable these anytime you want. And the process is going to be relatively the same. You're going to pull up 
that Chrome Flags page. You're going to use the search box to filter out the word forward. And you're going to look for these two options, the back dash forward visual transition and the right edge goes forward. Except this time we switch both of these to disabled and then we tap on that blue relaunch button. With that done, when you're browsing through Chrome, you'll notice that those swipe ins are not going to work like that new feature shows. And it's going to function just like it used to be. This type of setup is something that makes sense considering Google has been working on its predictive back animation system for Android as a whole. So I think some folks will feel right at home with this new type of setup. But I also like that this has been broken up into the two separate features. Since I could see some folks liking the back animation gesture in general, but keeping things the same no matter which side of the screen they swipe in from because you can enable the back forward visual transitions while keeping the right edge goes forward disabled. That way both swipes will function as back. But let me know what you think down in the comments section below. Are you looking forward to using a feature like this? Or would you rather see Google bring some other features to its Chrome web browser on Android? And please, do not forget to give this video a like to help spread the word, while also subscribing to the channel for more Android app tips like this.